it pains me that in my own country, I see people that were once regarded as very reputable people helping these things exist, promoting their use and so forth. Uh, this is a very, very bad thing. The country did not need a currency that's good for kidnappers and so on. What do you think happened? Because there are a lot of big names, a lot of people and um, firms well, that you might bad, not have that's anticipated. That's what impresses me. There are people who think they just got to be on every deal that's hot. And they don't care whether it's child prostitution or Bitcoin. If it's hot, they want to be in it. I think that's totally crazy. Reputation is very helpful in financial life. And to destroy your reputation by associating with scumballs and their scumball promotions, a huge mistake. Do you think those companies did any due diligence or um, what happened? I think they actually mean well. Though that you're seeing a lot of uh, delusion. It's partly fraud and partly delusion. That's a bad combination. I don't like either fraud or delusion. And the delusion may be more extreme than the fraud. Delusion, how so? Well, nobody's going to invent a new thing that every 12 year old kid can be a billionaire or something. He just calls it Munger Coin. He starts trading it or something. It's it's a, it's crazy. It's demented. But you've got a good idea. It's much easier to push that to wretched excess. That's why good ideas carried to wretched excess become bad ideas. And once you've got that concept in your mind, of course, it's always going to be some good idea. Nobody's going to say, I've got some <laughs> that I want to sell you. <laughs> yeah, <that's laughs> the blockchain. It's, it's, <laughs> I, I blockchain. blockchain. Blockchain is a new good thing that's come up. Like fairy dust. <laughs> you do have a way of putting it very precisely, Charlie. 